You know, Ryan, I just, okay, you, you're serious, then act serious, right? They, they're going to wait till March. I mean, you know, they didn't take any action today. Instead, I know that to be able to jawbone the markets is one of the uh, arrows in their quiver, and they certainly, it's working today. But uh, are you happy with the way the Fed's handling all of this? Well, you knew they were going to be behind the uh, eight ball the whole time, right? Come on. Last year with the transitory inflation, and now here we are at the highest level since 1982. So I expect, and you know, you've had a tepid Fed, I expect more of the same. I think you have every bank out there falling over themselves to say, oh, it's going to be seven rate hikes, eight rate hikes this year. I think they'll fall short of expectations. And that means to me, you know, that uh, the economy is still probably going to run hot mm -hmm. and they're not going to reel it in, which is probably pretty bullish. Ryan, I know you're longer term. Uh, one of the things we're seeing is uh, uh, some retail inflows that, and the funds have picked up big time in the last week. Also, you've been right uh, on, this, on this value growth thing. Uh, and I think you like the emerging markets. Is this where longer term investors in your mind should remain? Uh, Charles, man, you're speaking my language here. Absolutely. Look at value over growth this year. You know, no pain, no gain, no pun intended. Uh, but, you know, in the fall, you know, near the end of the year, it was hard to buy value and it was a good time to buy it. And now you're seeing that big dispersion. I think that continues. And look at the dollar. The dollar's starting to weaken. If you look at growth rates in the, in the emerging markets, they're going to be just as good as the U.S. And they trade so much cheaper. So I think it's the year of value. And I definitely think it's the year of international. And, Jim, you're a bold man with those calls. <laughs>